increasing at the same level as I personally would have liked to have seen it. Angered by what he thinks is a call for a handout to the undeserving, John Gerritsen comes out with a lecture on how his family got rich. Well, hey, 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 hey look, you, 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 know, you know, when I came to this country, I was 12 years old, okay? My parents didn't speak a word of English. They had about 300 bucks in their pocket and three small kids. I didn't speak any English, okay? Everything that my family has here, that my parents worked for, was in order to give their kids an education, okay? And I'm thankful for them. And you know, I was a practicing lawyer downtown here for 25 years, did an awful lot of pro bono work, probably about a third of the world, the work that I, that I did, I got no money for it all, and I got involved in politics. Council, mayor, and then, you know, now this position, etc. And everything that I have in life, I've worked for, you know. No, that, and, and, and I've been very privileged in my life that I've been a practicing lawyer. I think lawyer everyone here has worked for what they have. Yeah. Here are some of the stories of the people that John Gerritsen thinks need to be regulated. Well, I, I'm, I have a mental illness, and I put myself through university. Exactly. And my three oldest kids are all in university. Right. Well, that's and great. I don't, I don't think that I should be punished because I have a legitimate disability, and I can't work full-time. It would be almost impossible for me to work full-time. I, I, I would be sick and in the hospital. Just and because. And then I would cost the province more money, and then my 12-year-old would have to go into, like, the CAS system, it would be a catastrophe if I worked full time. I work part time, mm -hmm. but I have three kids that are that are are going to make it. But why should I be punished because I have a mental illness and I can't work full time? But I I attained a degree from Queens, mm -hmm. you know. But why should why why should I have to live below poverty? because I have a disability. It makes it so much harder. Like my girlfriends that don't have children, uh, what, what do they get a month, 464 for shelter? Uh, you can't rent a place for 464 a month inclusive. I you can't rent a room for that much in some of the a month for rent, and when I ask disability, is you know, my rent's higher. You know, I'm not able to afford the food that I was getting. I, you know, if I want to prove that, like, I have lost 200 pounds, not because I was starving, but because, you know, in general, I was like, I have to learn to live on the bare minimum because there's some scary stuff going on yes, and I can't afford it. You know, like, in August, I was 400 pounds. Wow. Okay, I'm eating, but, you know, I'm not eating adequately. I know hundreds of people in the city that share this point of view with me that refuse to vote because they think that no one, it, like, who, why? Why would I vote when nobody listens to me, when I can't feed my kids, when I can't feed my family, when I have to lie, you know, and say that I crap my pants so that I can get an extra hundred dollars a month so that I can buy gluten-free bread. If people have special dietary needs and the money is there, why are we spending the money on bureaucracy and, pardon my language, but bullshit and not feeding people? Why are we taking the time to pay for workers and a, pers a system that claims to be personalized but does not personalize for the individuals, that makes it, that criminalizes the individuals involved, makes them take criminal action so that they can acquire funds and food that... In the end, after the people have spoken out, Garrison agrees that their rates are too low and promises to do something about it. ...on annual basis, because I don't think you're getting enough for social assistance either. If, as you say, that you're yeah. going to put 40 million well, into well, the for special example, diets, okay, if, you, if you yeah. say that that's what you're going yeah. to do, I don't understand. First of all, I'm not totally confident that that's actually what's going to happen. Okay. And second of all, I just well, don't understand if you can spend 40 million on special diets, why you can't spend it on raising the rates in general. The, the parents are going hungry. 550. Imagine that. What can you live on? 550. No. Tell them about 550. Somebody tell the story. Like you can't. It, it was in the wig. You can't. You can't, you can't, can't do it. Try. Now John Garretson goes back to Toronto to talk to his friends in the Liberal government and stop proposed changes to the special diet and raise the rates. KCAP will wait and return to his office for a follow-up appointment. We really hope that the message Garretson brings back is positive. In the meantime, Raise the Rates campaign continues until our demands to stop the changes to the special diet and raise the rates by 50% are met. To get involved, contact kcap.ca or come to one of our meetings on Tuesdays at 5.30 at 99 York Street. Good food, free rides, and child care are provided. Please call 613-328-1938 for child care or a ride.